Hello and welcome to another Shoop video. In this video, we will see how vendors can create new products and make them available for purchase. We are in Sandbox 3, which is our test environment. Here, shop owners and vendors can get acquainted with our multi-vendor platform and test its functionality. Let's log in as a vendor. From here, we go to Products, New Product. We have quite a few sections here, but we can customize it for your store, remove all information you don't need and add sections you want to have. I will walk you through all the sections, but things that need to be explained in more detail, I will explain in separate videos, like taxes, shipping methods and inventory management. First is the name of the product. Next we have short description and description, they are optional. Next is SKU or stock keeping unit, which is a unique code for your product. We recommend that you write them as slugs. Some customers use barcodes as SKUs. Next you assign tax class and product type. Set a default price per unit and all discounts and coupons will be based on that. Use currency applicable to your store. Primary category. We have t-shirts. You can also assign other categories your product will be associated with. Next, you need to assign visibility based on how you want your product displayed. We have four options here. Not visible. The item will not be shown in the list of products and will not be searchable. Searchable means that this item will be shown in search results, but will not be listed on any category page. Listed means that the item will be shown on category page, but will not show on search results. And always visible means that the product is shown in the store and available for search. Let's click save to add the product. And let's go to product details to see what's there. First you have manufacturer or someone who actually produces the item. Shipping mode is optional, set it to ship if product requires shipping. Barcode and global trade item number are also optional. Next you assign width, height and depth for your product. Sales unit is an adjustable unit. It will be modified according to the requirements of your store. We have pieces here, but of course you can sell by weight, volume and so on. And next you assign product's weight without the packaging and with the packaging. Next you have slug, which is part of URL leading to your product. For SEO purposes, we recommend using keywords. Here you can create a name for a variation of your product. We will talk more about creating variations in our next videos, but they could be as simple as different sizes, colors, and so on. And keywords. Let's click additional. First we have status text. And this is the text to be displayed next to your product. For example, if I'd like my customers to see my product, but the product will only be available for purchase in one month, I can put available for purchase in one month as a status text and mark it as not purchasable. Once the product is available for purchase, I can remove the status text and mark it as purchasable. Next, you can upload supporting files for your item like manuals and instructions and images. You can assign locations where this product is available. We will talk more about stock management, modifiers and campaigns in our next videos. For now, let's go back to our product list and see that the item is actually added there. Here we are. If you want to learn how to upload multiple products, see our video on data import. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information, you can contact us at contact at shoop.com. If you're an existing customer, reach out to your project manager. Visit our website shoop.com or find us on social media. Check out our social media links in the description of the video below.